Hello fellow vintage Ray Ban lovers out there, hope you're well and welcome to another video. So, what do we have here today? Have a look, see what you think. Ooh, look at that. Atlanta, Olympics, USA, 1996. Wayfarer in tortoise with gold accents. Very nice indeed. Or is it? Is it really nice? Is it really nice indeed? I don't think so because this, my friends, is fake. I bought these year and a half, two years ago. I was ready to send them back, but I didn't because I was thinking to myself, I've got to do a video on this. These are fake. They're really good fakes. And I thought, I'll keep it so that when I get the real deal, when I get the actual genuine item, then I can do a video that you're watching today. Because I want to show you what the real McCoy looks like versus a very good copy. If you didn't know what you were purchasing and you saw these for sale and you bought them, you'd probably be thinking, damn, I've got a really nice pair of sunglasses here. I've got a commem commemorative piece of Olympic memorabilia, 1996, Atlanta, USA, perfect. It's the perfect link. USA Ray-Ban is a, is, a, is a United States brand. The Olympics in 1996, Atlanta is in the United States. It's the first time that Ray-Ban itself has released an Olympic series model when the Olympics was in its own country. It adds value to those sunglasses. It adds prestige to those sunglasses. Look again. Everything's there. Don't get it twisted. But everything ain't there. So, let me take these on. Let me show you the real thing. Got a little bit of a cold today. Don't know why. Woke up. I was alright yesterday evening. Woke up this morning and I've got snot coming out my goddamn eyeballs, ears, nose, everywhere. Just the nose, but you know what I'm saying. Now we have the real thing. Okay, you're looking. What you seeing? What's the difference? Really nice. Very nice indeed. Let me get you the model number. W2244. W2244. Unbelievable. So again, don't get it twisted. Let me show you the difference. Okay, so let's start with the front of the frame. So the um, actual genuine uh, model is on the top and then the fake pair is on the bottom right from the off. You can see the colourway of the frame are completely different. Um, we have a very typical tortoise shell colourway at the top with a light brown mixed in with dark brown sways and swirls. However, with the fake pair, they've tried their hardest, but 
definitely side by side uh, it's a complete and absolute contrast compared to the original and genuine pair so let's go in a little bit deeper let's have a look at the Ray-Ban signature with the Olympic uh, five rings so that's the original right there Ray-Ban as you can see with the Olympic rings in gold lettering very nice indeed however let's go into let me find it again the actual Ray-Ban signature is spot on but the Olympic rings are not the same these ones here are a little bit bigger than the actual genuine ones. Also, the uh, Olympic rings on the fake pair are not only a little bit bigger, but they are a little bit thinner as well compared to the actual genuine pair. It's a, in terms of thickness of the rings, the genuine pair is a little bit thicker. Okay, next is, let's go to the etching. I mean, I don't know if you can pick that up, but I will say that you have the four-part etching on the genuine, but you certainly don't have the four-part etching on the fake pair right there see that everything there's no four part etching there it is just literally a b and an l uh put together like so so that is the front of the um of the two sunglasses let's now have a look at the temples so here we have the um, actual Atlanta 1996 Centennial Olympic Game branding um, or lettering on the temple with the USA Olympic badge there and there. Now, like I said earlier, if you didn't have the original um, original sunglasses or you'd never seen the original sunglasses you could quite easily be fooled because that right there is excellent I don't care if it's fake or not that right there they've done a great job on that it is pretty much perfect and when I say pretty much I mean it because it's not that perfect 98%. The problem with this fake one here is that actually it's a lot bigger than the original. The original wording is much, much smaller. And when you put them together, you actually can see the size difference. The bottom one, the fake pair, much bigger than the top pair, which is the genuine uh, pair of sunglasses. So, the USA Olympic badge, I've had a look, I've had another look, and I've had a third look. It's spot on, folks. It's spot on. Actually, I would go as far to say as that they could have just pulled this off a genuine pair and stuck it on this one because there's no difference whatsoever. So yeah, so that badge there, the USA badge, is is excellent. As I said, the Atlanta 96 uh, Olympic Games wording, um, size difference is, is the key here. And again, you can see just by the colour, the, the, the actual difference on that. So, whilst it's open, the hinges... Both gold, as you can see, spot on. No difference in there at all. Let's have a look at the inside temple where the writing US Olympic Series 
36 USC 380. Uh, again, it's about sizing. You know, they've, they've done everything they can, apart from the frame, which is the obvious, but in terms of the actual detail, you know, they've got everything absolutely right, but the sizing comes into play. Way too big. Way too big. You've done a great job, but it's way too big. That's the original right here. US Olympic Series. You can even see the Wayfarer um, impressed in there as well. Um, and then you have the fake pair here. US Olympic Series Wayfarer again. You know, um, you can't see it, but at the end of the paddle, you have the code. They've got the code correct. No problem about that. So, uh, so yeah, again, size. Okay, so let's have a look at the other temple. Uh, again, we have the USA uh, Olympic uh, badge there and there. And then we have the, I presume it's the stars, the US, uh, the US stars. Um, but one thing I've noticed, it's actually quite good. However... As we can see, that's the original right there. And then we have the fake side right here. The fake stars are actually a little bit fatter um, than, the, uh, than the original. Uh, especially the very last star, as you can see there. That's the actual genuine pair. But if we come down and have a look at the, uh, the fake pair... As you can see there, actually that last star is is far fatter um, than the genuine pair. So the final thing to do is to weigh the sunglasses. So here's my um, little weighing scales. Uh, here are the fake sunglasses to start off with. So let's see what these weigh. And we have 46 point one grams okay so those are the fake ones let's put the real ones on like so and oh look at that 49.3 now i reckon that is probably down to the actual lenses that because obviously we have genuine uh glass thick g15 lenses uh, in those which are the genuine pair and then we have some um, yeah they're glass again but they're some fake or you know non-genuine um, brown supposedly wanting to be B15 uh, thin uh, anorexic uh, lenses so so there we have it's almost you know that's a three gram weight difference which is a hell of a lot for a pair of sunglasses when you're talking about um genuine and 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 obviously copies so there you have it ladies and gentlemen that was um a little look at a nice genuine 1996 olympic game wayfarer against a uh, a copy or a fake version uh, that I bought a couple of years ago. So be warned, have a look, have a look on the website, have a look on a well-known auction site, have a look on the sold and the completed listings, just to see what you've purchased and against what other examples. Have a look on Google Images, you know, um, if you know the code, if you know the actual model number and the model name, then have a look on Google Images just to make sure that what you have is a genuine pair of sunglasses. If you cannot still work out whether or not you have a genuine pair of vintage B&L Ray-Ban sunglasses, then by all means, come onto my Facebook page, BL Ray-Ban UK, message me. Do whatever you need to do to get in touch and then I can appraise your actual sunglasses for you. If you're not on Facebook, then you can hit me up on Instagram, BL Ray-Ban UK. If you're not on Instagram, you can hit me up on Twitter, again, B 
BL Ray Ban UK. If all of that fails, then obviously you're watching this video, you know I'm on YouTube, you can hit me up in the comments section. My email address is blrayburnuk at gmail.com. Hook me up on that, and then again, I will appraise your sunglasses. You need to send me pictures. Don't be sent to me messages without any pictures, people, because the amount of times I've had to say to you, well, I can't see this, and make sure the pictures are nice and clear. You know what I mean? Close-ups, different angles. Give me all of the information that I can use to be able to give you an honest and open and 100% accurate um, uh, uh, confirmation of your pair of vintage B&L Ray-Ban sunglasses. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Peace.